The top of this tank is a big cup and the low spot is right here in the center of it. Well the shape of it is designed to fit the contour of the underside of the fuselage of the Super Cub. So this goes up here and then it goes down where the uh, stringers are underneath it and then it uh, it turns here where the fuselage changes angles and it goes up with the fuselage angle. So that's fine on wheels, especially on extended gear or bush wheels. The tail sits down lower than the nose, so any moisture that might collect on top of this tank would just run out and run out down the bottom. And on floats, like my airplane, the majority of the time it sits when it sits is on the ramp. Again, it's sitting at an angle with the tail pretty low, so any moisture that collects on there would just run right off of it, shouldn't collect on it at all. On amphibs, it sits at a kind of a level attitude, and water runs down around the fuselage, and even though there's a seal in here, it does run through, and it collects here on this, and it builds up, and then of course, floods the bottom of the fuselage where the stringer is and stuff in there, and keeps it wet. Now, the only time Basically, my airplane is level attitude like that is when it's in the water, of course when it's flying, or when it's sitting on shore. And usually anymore, if it's on shore, if it's put away for the winter, I've got it in the hangar, so it shouldn't collect any water. But just as a precaution, I know the one on the Anfib, that wound up drilling a hole in through here and out through the bottom and putting a tube through there, so any water that would collect on here would drain down out through that tube. So as long as I've got this all apart and doing this amount of work to it and stuff, I'm going to go ahead and do that. I've got a, I don't know whether that's quarter inch diameter or five sixteenths or what size it is, but I got a small diameter piece of uh, carbon fiber and I'm going to go ahead and drill this out here so that we can epoxy this in and it'll be sealed on the top and the bottom so no fuel will run out of it or anything, but it'll let any water that accumulates on top of this tank drain out through the bottom of the tank. This low spot here is right at the junction of two baffles and it's hard to see through the top exactly where those baffles are. You can project it out back here in the back where it goes and I lay this rule on it but the baffle is not exactly rigid in there. It kind of it's like a snake. Oh, I laid this flexible rule out on there and lined it up with the back of it and then took this flashlight shined in there and through and then I could kind of see where it was up here and then the same way with this cross baffle anyway I got those marked out where the center of the baffle is well, ideally the drain would be right there in the center of that but like I said that goes down through the through two baffles and then right underneath there is a great big gob of paste epoxy paste stuff that they put in there to hold those baffles and hold the top down or something anyway to uh, hold everything. It doesn't hold everything together but it kind of I guess keeps those baffles from flopping around too much and breaking off and keeps the top in line with them. Anyway that's pretty thick and I thought I was going to have to come way outside of that to put my hole in but I got thinking about it and that's actually a pretty good deal. I can drill down through that hole and there'll be a thick bunch of putty in there that'll support that tube. I'll just drill this out so it just runs down alongside those two baffles. I usually have a heck of a time drilling a straight hole but I tried to drill that hole in there straight and I did a pretty good job. Problem is that baffle's not in there straight. It goes down at a pretty good angle. I don't know what angle that would be. It's not perpendicular to this face here and it's certainly not perpendicular to this face. It goes down at an angle like this. But I smarted, started with small drill bits and worked my way up so everything worked out okay. This thing goes right down through there just like it was meant to so that's gonna work. Now because this putty that they got in here is relatively thick well, I'm gonna go ahead and drill that hole out larger quite a bit larger but I'm not gonna drill all the way through and that'll leave a cavity in there and then I'll make up some putty and uh, putty that all in uh, it, using the epoxy resin in that. Oh, I think I'll use the, well, the high density adhesive filler has the best adhesion, the 404. The 406, the colloidal silica, it bonds real good too, and it's probably plenty good enough. Maybe I'll just go ahead and use, uh, I haven't decided yet. I'll see. The 404, the high density filter, has a higher adhesive bond than the, uh, than the sil silica. 
but both of them are actually pretty good so anyway i'll mix up some putty in some uh, resin and get this thing glued in here well i made it that putty with the oh what was it the high density filler adhesive filler and i made it up a little bit loose and squeezed it down around that tube where it went through that hole and i squeezed it down in there until i could see that with a mirror that it was coming out the other side then I thickened it up and I gobbed it in around down there around the bottom where that uh, goes through that hole in the bottom there that packed in there pretty good and I took the rest of it and fared in around this filler neck here and there's a groove here where this top meets the main body and then all of the gaps that I had where that was glued in I just took that stuff and fared it all around there and kind of filled this area up here and kind of smoothed that all out and I took my fingers in the gloves and dipped them in the acetone and uh, we just went over this and smoothed it all down as best I could with my fingers you know be maybe a little bit of sand work on it with a hand sander and stuff when it get uh, when it gets cured but for now that uh, let that all cure up this will be cut off flush here and with this I'll be able to chamfer that just a little bit make it kind of a little bit of a hole there or chamfered down in so any water would be sure and run down in that. I don't want it sticking up proud above that for sure.